Beware. Let's any man spoil you. Spoil. Hold it, hold it right spoil. there. Spoil. When meat is spoiled, it's no good. No good. It's been ruined. That's right. And this is what have happened in churches. Amen. Your church have spoiled you. Spoiled you. Amen. Fake healing meetings. That's yeah. right. Somebody blow on you, fall on the floor. Yeah. That's right. Uh, my son sent me an article from Africa. You know, I heard of a lot of hypocrisy, but this was one that not only take the cake, it took the cake and threw it out the window. <laughs> now, what I'm about to tell you is the epitome of trifleness yeah. and the sadness of deception. Come on, come on. A young false prophet in Africa, and I wish I knew his name. See, can you pull it up real quick, son, while, while you're sitting there? And see, can you pronounce his name? Because this broadcast covers Africa. Amen. And I want to get a hold of this false prophet in a biblical sleeper hole. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> He passed the Christ Penelope hmm. of South Africa. Amen. Says, and they got pictures of him doing this, and people criticize me for condemning false prophets. I want to show you how these worthless, no good things will get the people to believe anything, and the false prophet's success of deception hangs on your ignorance. That's right. That's right. Always remember that. That's right. No false prophet can successfully trick you unless you're ignorant. That's right. The more ignorant you are, the more he can use you. Yeah. This false prophet in South Africa sits on his member's face and on his member's head and said the Lord told them to pass gas upon them listen and he convinced them that if you take the smell home the Lord will make you rich and they got pictures of them I mean I'm not making this up pictures of this man sitting on his member's head Lord. then there's another false prophet in Africa all the women is laying on their stomach in front of the false church and the men is in back of the women holding their ankles and the men is on their knees with their behind up in the air and the bishops or elders or pastors got on the false prophets' robes with belts, beating the men, beating the men. The sad thing that got me thundering and hitting hard is men and women let these trifling, no good. Pit dogs. That's right. Come in the name of Jesus and make the fool out of you. That's right. You mean to tell me you want to be rich that bad that a man can pass gas? My Lord, my Lord. Sit on your husband's face. My Lord. He's a poor pit pervert. That's right. That's right. That's right. Where did these men get these antics? They love watching the false prophets from America. That's right. In Jamaica, Brother Minister Gary emailed me and sent me a news report. And that's what a preacher is. He's a divine journalist. For the Apostle Paul said, who hath believed our report? Or will take God into whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? A false prophet in Jamaica, the police arrested him. Uh, he was going to sacrifice, along with some of his parishioners, about 144 people, murdered them. My Lord. To believe they're doing God's will. About three people got killed within the false church. My Lord. But the police caught him. A 
arrested him. My Lord. And they complain about me speaking out against the false prophets. Right. The Bible says to his preachers, cry loud. Cry loud, spare not. Ain't that what he said? That's right. Besides criticizing me for speaking against false prophets, you have to ask yourself, why is there so many men quiet? That's right. About the false prophets. Cry aloud, spare not. Because the Bible sounds the alarm. In Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. The alarm. Cry aloud, spare not. Cry aloud and take it easy. Cry aloud, spare not. No. Cry aloud and be cool. Cry aloud, spare not. Cry aloud and don't hurt their feelings. Cry aloud, spare not. That's right. Don't spare them. That's it doesn't right. matter if they cry, don't spare them. Spare not. It doesn't matter if they put a contract out on you, don't spare them. Spare not. That's right. If they send hit men from Africa to America, what do I care? Spare not. Don't spare them. That's right. That's right. Cry aloud, spare not. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a coward. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. No, like a coward. Like a trumpet. Be scared. Like a trumpet. Hallelujah. That's it. What make these Hallelujah. men so quiet? Hallelujah. Because you viewers have paid your pastor off. That's right. Paid him to shut up. That's right. Paid him to turn his back. That's right. Long as you pay his gas, his rent, his mortgage, buy his cars, buy his suits, he ain't going to speak out against your wrong. No, no. I wouldn't care if you gave the church a million dollars every hour. That's right. I tell you the truth while you're writing the check. That's right. That's Why? Right. Because everything in this life is temporary. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Only God himself is eternal. Cry aloud, spare not. Cry aloud, go spare out. not. Don't spare. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift it up how? Like a trumpet. Hallelujah. You know, everybody can't play a trumpet. You know, a trumpet player, a lot of times he wants to work the vowels on that trumpet to try to hit a note that he never hit before. That's right. Till you find that trumpet player trying to hit the highest note yeah. that he or she can. Yeah. The trumpet represents a wake up call. That's right. Thank God. That's right. That's what God. Make his preacher, he's a wake up call. Come to interrupt your sleep. Yeah. Cry loud, spread not lift up your voice at the trumpet. And show my people their transgression. Wait a minute. You're speaking loudly to do what? And show my people show them. their transgression. Show them. You don't like the fact you wrong? Amen. No. You love the fact you wrong. That's right. And you love it when nobody say nothing. That's right. That's why a lot of you watching me can't stand me. <laughs> That's right. Because what we preaching doesn't hit you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But the Bible says do what? And show my people their transgression. That's right. Show them. Come on. Amen. 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 Show them. Show my people their transgression. I don't care if you're Hallelujah. white and think that you're a child of God because you white. I don't care if you black and you think God look like you, what do I care? That's right. You was born of a woman like everybody else. That's right. And just like the devil gave you a job to do, Jehovah gave me a job to do. And show my people their children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Show, show my people, my people their transgression. My people. Show them that they're wrong. That's right. 